Hello, this is Tiger and PC, and welcome back to another video. Because in today's one, we're going to be breaking down the Team and T Free Convert Day 2022. Now, this news broke down or broke out a few weeks ago uh, from Sophie Campbell's page, and she revealed that um, the image for what Tiger was going to look like, and it was pretty interesting to say the very least. Now, this came with a surprise that Tiger was getting a whole new look, a new tires for, and just everything about it being completely different. To the point where people were asking questions or what's going to be happening in this one. Well, she did ask a few questions and left us with some answers, probably not the best ones, but taking a little bit of information. Now, I did take a, a little bit further and found out the first five or a few pages from the comic, and they were very interesting. Because what we found out was the Tolls had different weapons. And so he like basically recreated all the uh, all the same images from issue one of the original Tell comic, but this time the Tells were much different. Like Raphael having a uh, Dontoe's bow star, you know having a uh, Raphael's size, uh, Donnie having nunchuckers, Le uh, Mikey having swords. It was interesting to say the very least. We also did get some information about the comic as well, such as they'll be fighting the EPF instead of the Purple Dragons, and that the EPF have fought uh, quite a few different. Um, no characters like the um, aliens, which I speculate could have been the Triceratons, and with the new news of what or like the description for what this could be, as well as the cover, I do believe there is something very interesting going on with this comic. So, without further ado, let's actually read uh, the description for this issue. Okay, so the description for this issue goes uh, goes as follows: When the trolls are broken out of the lockdown neighborhood of Manhattan. Known as Mutant Town, but which Ninja Turtles, all the new, all the new mutant ter uh, terrorism NYC, enemies, allies of the team, team prepare for a confrontation greater than any ever has come before. The Rat King's diabolical Armageddon in the game. The team, team event of 2022 starts on Free Convert Day. So yes, wow, just this is truly incredible news and amazing description to really get people interested and invested in the story for things to come. It's truly really incredible. So what this um, little description tells us about is the fact that this is officially now a free comic day, which is always quite good to see, as it, well, it's free. I mean, you can't exactly go wrong with that, can you? And it's also a good confirmation saying that it's part of the um, DIDW universe, which is always another great thing to see, them always continuing expanding on that universe and it's making it into something that we'll never see again. And this also has led open to some very interesting uh, questions in terms of these turtles. Just because it says in the description that it says which Ninja Turtles. Now, there's been multiple theories going around of could this just be the original turtles given names? But uh, if you um, do join my Discord server, then there's a person called Kieran Potter, he's joined. A few live streams, check those out. Um, and he's come up with a theory that these could be the canon version of the Dark Turtles, but previously seen in the uh, 2003 show in Fast Forward. However, if you do like them or not, uh, these might be what we're going to be guessing. Which, if that is the case, then I'm all in for this, as it's just the turtles but with different weapons, and this could make for some very interesting interactions. In terms of the characters like meeting up with each other and being like, um, I'm, I'm not really sure what they would do or anything like that. And also, they can make like really good comparisons with like the weapons. And I thought like there could be some very interesting stuff here, and just so much possibilities. And I don't really know exactly where to go with this all section of this, but but there's just so much potential in terms of the story here. Now, with the Rat King thing, that's going to be interesting, uh, to say the very least. I don't know if it's going to be that there are mutants from Mutant Town, or if they were just, like, something that the Rat King's pulled in. However, we do need to take a look at the cover to go with my next uh, build of evidence to or break down for this, and it'd be, like, where my point is going to be going next for how these turtles maybe have gone to this time. So as you can see on the cover, it is very interesting. So we'll go from uh, right to left. So we've got Donnie, Leo, Raph and Mikey 
you're probably wondering, no, that's not right, but trust me, it is correct. So we've just got Donny with the nunchuckers, Rilio with the size, Raph with the bow staff, and Mikey with the swords. Very interesting, but you can obviously tell that this is a um, homage to or parody of the very first uh, Team T comic, even to the point where it's not even filling up the, the full page. And it's actually a rap wraparound cover, which is where things get a bit more interesting. Now, you'll see online that there is possibly like two different versions of what this issue is going to be, in a way, sort of. Because on the front of the cover, of most images for this um, cover, you have a white box covering a little hand. Now, I was wondering, hmm, what could this be? Um, but then you take a look on the other side. And you see another turtle. Interesting, just wow, amazing, really. So my theory is that this is, that this is possibly or probably is a female turtle, just due to the bandana being uh, done on done in like a ponytail, which is you know it's always interesting. It's the thing which you most relate to a female turtle. Now we can see that she's wearing clothing like all the other turtles, so it's not too much big difference there, and she's got tattoos. Which I got a theory that it's probably someone from the core toll cast from the future. So that could either be Venus Damalo, Artemis, uh, Lita, or Jenica. One of those turtles, or who knows, this could just be uh, some other random turtle that we'll probably never get to see, or could just be like a first introduction. So this, so this comic could possibly be a very big, important one in terms of like, um, like first appearances and all that. So. I'll definitely say uh, this uh, this comic and I'll just give like just give a few other issues just in case. Um, but still, this does um, intrigue me. Now, if you do look on the face, which is even more interesting, she's wearing a white bandana, but that could just be just due to the light. I'm pretty sure that is. Uh, well, yeah, sort of. But that's more lighting. Um, the, the blue glow thing sort of doesn't help with terms of trying to figure out who this character could be. However, there was something quite interesting. Um, the bandana is sort of like pinned onto her head, and she has stitches, or e, or this turtle has stitches on the head, and this is sort of going to be very interesting. So, could this turtle have been in like, like battles and hurt hurt themselves quite badly? Is this a robot? Something like that. So, if this turtle is from the future, then this could, this whole story could be sent in the future, maybe. Or the tales come back to the past. I know this uh, is a very interesting story to say the very least, in terms of what could happen and what might not happen. And yeah, and so yeah, I'm interested to see where these tales are going to be fitting into the whole Armageddon event. And I'm quite interested to see like what you guys have to offer in terms of um, like plot and story and all that. Like, what do you think? Could it be Tuck Tales? Could it be from the future? Could they be the original Tales? Could it be Brainwash? Could it be Welcome to Turtles? Um, and yeah, there was also another fear going around with another person which I sort of liked it was the fact that these Tales are from the Deviation universe. Um, that one comic that had, is not really part of the uh, Toll or the OW universe, it was all sort of like a what if the Tales join the Shredder. So they could be. Could be those holes, but who knows? Uh, I'm really interested to see what you guys have to, um, or in just interested to see what you have to say about this issue. Uh, I'm pretty sure most of you will be picking it up because it's a free comic book. Who doesn't want a free comic book? Um, but yeah, that's gonna be it for today, guys. If you do like something, please share, like, subscribe, and all that stuff. Good bye, yo, bye, yeah.